Joining us now, Outkick founder and Fox News contributor Clay Travis. What did you make of this, this, this touring of the studios for Fauci and everyone sort of uh, fawning all over him? I, I thought it was indefensible. Uh, and thanks for having me on to talk about it because if there's not going to be a reckoning, then what we saw happen, I believe, on Face the Nation is going to continue to happen, Steve. Dr. Fauci was asked, hey, can you basically say categorically that we're not going to have shutdowns, lockdowns again of schools coming out of the holidays? And he said he couldn't because local officials will have to make those decisions. And this is emblematic of a failure to acknowledge all of the failures that we got uh, that, that we got wrong here. We should have never shut down schools at all, but also to double, triple, and now quadruple down on all yeah. of this insanity, Steve. Look, they're going, but the big problem here, and you've seen this happen, the CDC says we don't tell people what to do. We just give recommendations. And then all of the local health authorities say, well, we're not making a decision. We're just deciding to follow the CDC recommendations. So they're constantly passing the ball such that no one is ever responsible for making a decision, which is the very essence of our democracy, Steve. We have exactly to hold right. people accountable for their decisions. That's what elections are. And then the other thing that was just so stunning is, th is this sort of doublespeak from Fauci. You know, just so dishonest. On the, on the origins question, he was asked about, about, about the lab leak thing, not his role in it, just the leak from the lab. And he said, oh, yes, I've got an open mind. And then he goes on to say, but all the evidence is that it was a natural origin. That's just not true. There's no evidence that it was You're a right. natural origin. And a pile of circumstantial evidence that it was his experiments. There's no doubt. And here is the essence. Remember, Dr. Fauci said, uh, Steve, hey, I am the science. So when you attack yeah. science, you are attacking me. Or when you're attacking me, you are attacking science. He made himself one in the same with science. But that's always been wrong from the get-go because the very essence of the scientific method is we question everything. And so what Fauci tried to do was insist on an artificial narrative, one that was not supported by any of the facts, and anyone who questioned that artificial narrative was essentially named an enemy of the state. And so as we break down what's going on here, Fauci is the most destructive bureaucrat in the United States history. He is beyond a shadow of a doubt, I believe, someone who has committed perjury in his, uh, in his testimony in front of Congress. And I look forward to Republicans having control of the House at a minimum so they can get him back under oath and question him about all of these different issues but what he's ultimately going to be, reminded, be remembered for, I think, is destruction of all trust in public health bureaucrats. Because he said before Thanksgiving that yeah. you might want to be taking a COVID test before you went to Thanksgiving dinner. He said if you're wearing a mask, you look great in them. He can't dial it back down even after a third Thanksgiving. Yes. He's broken many people in America's minds, and unfortunately, they're on the far left in this country. <laughs> exactly. By the way, I do love. I've just been on vacation with with some family um, members. They came over from England, and they and they said, "Why do you question everything, Steve?" I said, oh, "Well, I don't know. I, yeah. I wouldn't claim I'm a scientist, but I think it's the right mindset to have with these bureaucrats, and certainly someone like Fauci." Uh, wonderful to see you, Clay. Thank you so much.